so good afternoon to all of you students today i am going to explain about the numerical computing process so this numerical computing process uh, we can consider it as uh, it is similar to the software development life cycle that we normally use or we can say uh, the step by step development of a software that is the software development life cycle more or less we can say this is also same but here we are going to find a solution for a problem real time problem but here we will use some mathematical model so let us see so we will understand it with the help of some diagram so first of all we start from here this is the physical from physical problem first of all we take the physical problem and then using some mathematical concepts we make a mathematical model we make a mathematical model for some particular physical problem and then for this mathematical model mathematical model may contain various parameters it may contain uh, various variables and then for that particular mathematical model we make a numerical method so this numerical method is as we all know that uh, from the mathematical model we are unable to uh, do the calculations manually and when we are unable to do the calculation or when these calculations becomes very complex then we move towards the numerical methods so for this mathematical model we develop a numerical method Uh, this numerical method is basically uh, we try to find out the approximate solution this is approximate method so this is the main difference between this mathematical model and numerical method and after this after uh, making the numerical method for a particular mathematical model now we come to here this is the computer part and this is known as implementation implementation is nothing but this is we can say this is coding part here we make the program here we develop the program for this particular numerical method so how we develop we can use any language like we can use c c++ java python php and so on so here we incorporate or we use some computer and software and with the help of this we complete this phase that is implementation so after development of program after making the program for this particular numerical method we get a solution so this is the solution or we can say uh, this program is executed and the final executed runnable program this is the solution now we check its validity whether the solution is valid or not so what we do we test it we take some data that is test data and for that test data or we can say that is the real time data we check its validity if it is correct it means if it is giving uh, the correct output the good results then we can say the method the solution that we have obtained is correct then we get we can say that okay this is the application if suppose we are not getting the correct results it means this is the wrong then we need to go we need to review these phases like this phase 1 2 and 3 sometimes we need to change in this mathematical model or we need to change numerical method or implementation so what we do if suppose this is wrong we are not getting the results up to mark then we will go to this phase and what we will do there is a possibility that we could not understand the real time physical problem very well so what we do we review this physical problem again and for this again we make the mathematical model or we may also make uh, some minor modifications in this mathematical model after making some changes again we make the numerical method and then we make the program and then we 
get the solution and then we check its validity by using test data it may be correct if it is correct then this is the final application if it is not correct if it is wrong then again we may go to this step so from this we can go directly to this step or there is a possibility that this mathematical model may be correct but we need to change if this is incorrect then we will modify the model if this numerical method is incorrect then what we will do we will change the method we can make some minor changes in this numerical method or sometimes we need to change the entire method and then there is also a possibility that the program that we have developed for this particular numerical method this may also be wrong so what we will do we need to change this program we need to change the uh, data types or uh, this may be anything we need to change some syntax so at this level after incorporating computer and software we will make another we will develop another program and for that we will find the solution and again we will check the validity on the test data it may be correct if it is correct then okay we will stop here this is the stopping condition if it is wrong again we will need to change the all the phases so this is the normal process uh, that we use in numerical computing or we can say this is the numerical computing process that contain various phases and these phases are first we take physical problem and then we make the mathematical model using some mathematical concepts and then we try to develop a uh, approximate method that is numerical method and then we develop the program for this particular numerical method and then we find the solution this is the running program so this is the solution we check the solution uh, we incorporate some real data we, uh, or we can say test data then we check its validity it, if it is correct this is the final application so this is the final application we started from here so i hope that you would be benefited from this video lecture in the next video we will see we will discuss about the errors thank you